I was born as a filmmaker, traveling around the world. I've seen a lot. The more I've been in contact with uh, people from other culture, the more I felt that the world was complex and there was no black and white. Hey, Mark. Cinema is a fantastic tool to explore that complexity, to try to understand what's happening. Sicario was an exploration of that complexity. When I read Sicario for the first time, I thought that it was one of the strongest and most powerful screenplay that I ever read. It's a visual art, and it begins and ends with the photography, and him making his own interpretation of the scenes. Action! And then you just have layers upon layers upon layers of interpretation that magnify the effect. Sicario is a journey through darkness and through the darkest side of human beings about how far should we go as a society to protect ourselves. You know what the beauty is of you being so beat to a pulp? Because no one's gonna notice a few more scratches. I would love the audience to feel that what they are seeing in the screens feels as real as possible. FBI! That's the way I will approach the location. That's the way I will approach violence. That's the way I will approach action as well. I want to create cinematic moments that will have a freshness to it. There's, of course, our sequences in the movie that will be beautiful and strong challenges. As a filmmaker, it's gonna be exciting and in the same time, I think to be deeply stressful. The visuals are not just kind of designed overnight. I like to start off with a general conversation about a script, you know, with a director, and then Denny will get a lot of images from all sorts of different places. So I started doing a collage of every set or every mood or ideas for some of the scenes. The uh, drug war is well documented. There's some really gritty, disgusting stuff that happens over there. Patrice Vermette and René April, my costume designer and production designer, they are making massive research for uh, Sicario, like if we were doing a documentary. When we would draw visual reference from photographs or from Patrice's work, certain things that really hit the mood of the film were very influential. In this case, I brought a lot of work by Alex Webb. Uh, Alex Webb had actually shot a whole series of pictures about this subject in, in Mexico and on the border uh, in the 80s. I thought his sense of composition and use of color is pretty amazing. Roger brought in the idea of Alex Webb and the way that the light works on the character and the colors, there's like light and then there's darkness. It's kind of like watching a photograph develop in the chemical bath as you start to see the mood of the film emerge through that process. Denis' films are a constantly evolving animal, and the storyboards are only a piece of the puzzle. We wanted to introduce Kate in a, some kind of graphic way and introduce what's happening, so we had storyboarded that and there was very specific shots for that whole sequence inside the SWAT vehicle. And so with Kate's character, you begin with that very first scene with just her eye. And there's immediately a contrast between light and dark. And that was a moment that I could see it, a twinkle in Denis' eyes as the film was really coming into, started to come into focus for him. Denis wanted this sense of the light. And there's no way you could do it in the real SWAT vehicle. So Patrice built a kind of very rudimentary box set because basically you don't see anything of the inside anyway. So it's just a wooden shape. And we put it on a turntable and I had a lamp on a crane so you could manipulate it to get those kind of shafts of light coming through the window. It's completely unreal, but it's just part of that introduction of the character and the you know expressive way of getting that light in the dark. It's metaphorical for what's our perception of uh, what's good and, and not. 